Hi, and welcome to the Ad Machines uh, Overview. My name is Steve Tenorello, founder and president. I'd like to thank you uh, for taking the time out today to learn how we can help you uh, in your business with your lead generation goals. Uh, during this presentation, I'm going to be sharing with you ways uh, and steps that we've taken as a company to deliver the best possible experience for our clients. Uh, I'm going to walk you through our company structure, share with you our service and support, uh, and really show you uh, our handcrafted lead generation system, uh, as well as taking you behind the scenes, showing you exactly what you can expect as an ad machines client. Now, I've been personally managing pay-per-click accounts since 2002. That's the very same year Google launched their AdWords product. That's me there with my arms folded to the right. And along the way, I've, I've transitioned from a consultant uh, to the founder of uh, a, a, a growing agency uh, that's dedicated to businesses like you and um, uh, you're here because you have a goal of trying to get the, the, the best possible result you can get uh, with your online marketing dollars and it's our goal as an organization to deliver excellence at every stage of the game and you'll notice if you look at the bottom left hand side um, of the screen here there's a big sign over my door, deliver excellence. I really feel that a, as a business, we need uh, a guiding light, uh, something uh, to apply our passion to. And uh, excellence is a resonating theme here at Ad Machines. It's drilled into us here. It was Vince Lombardi who said, perfection is not attainable. But if we chase perfection, we can catch excellence. It's a theme throughout the entire organization. We look to deliver excellence at every stage of the relationship and at every stage of the pay-per-click game from customer service to client performance to our internal processes and to our day-to-day -day operations uh, along with our goals. Uh, at Ad Machines, since we're highly focused in our craft doing pay-per-click management and lead generation, we're able to really focus on delivering excellence. Uh, we're not broad uh, we're not one of those agencies that can do it all. We're really just focused on lead generation. Uh, and since we're so dialed into this one thing, we've created a system uh, from soup to nuts. And every decision that we make from hiring the best talent to the investments we make in technology and how we approach customer success is 100% centered around chasing perfection and catching excellence along the way. We want to be the very best that we can be at what we do in our space. And I think we've done a really good job of doing that. And it's not just one of those things that you, know, you sit down at the first part of the year and you think about, you know, what are our core values and what's that one thing that, you know, we can sell people on. It's something that we live by here at, at Ad Machines. It's, it's, it's a passion. Um, excellence is really something that We've spent a lot of time, energy, and investment on um, achieving here as a business. So I want to I want to talk to you about this passion and how it applies to your specific experience. We know that, hey, listen, there's there's a lot of options out there. Um, we know that there there are a number of good companies, uh, and there are a number of companies that aren't so good. Um, we want to give you the best possible experience, and we're always learning. Uh, we're always applying new systems and technologies and processes to what we do, uh, but we feel as though we have the best solution for a local business that, that wants to generate leads. Uh, and I feel very strongly that if you decide you want to come on board, we have the right talent, we have the right staff in place to support you uh, and your goals. And um, when we do bring on a client, it's usually for the long term. Um, and uh, we feel, you know, we're very sh strong about uh, relationships here. So we've put together an experience um, that I'd like to walk you through. I'm going I'm to tell you how we structure the relationship. Then I'm going to talk to you about our handcrafted lead generation program. Uh, and if you're interested in, in moving forward with us, I'll, I'll tell you what you can do in terms of uh, next steps. Uh, so first, let's take a look at our experience. Really proud of being a Google partner here. We've achieved the red badge of honor with Google, which essentially means that we've accomplished um, four things. One, uh, we've met their threshold for um, uh, money uh, managed with them. Uh, two, uh, all of our 
staff is uh, certified. Three, we have long-term retention, um, which means our accounts stay with Google for a very long time. Uh, and four, all of our accounts uh, meet or exceed uh, Google's health score. They internally they track um, how active we are on an account. So um, the red badge of honor, the premier partner status, it's the highest level you can achieve as a business. Uh, there are several premier partners out there um, and each one has their own way of conducting business. So I'm going to walk you through our, you know, how we structure a relationship because it's very different in the marketplace. Uh, and just to give you some background here, uh, we started, we, you know, I, I've been doing this since 2002. I decided to really ramp up my team and transition into an agency in 2012. Uh, that's when we incorporated Ad Machines. Uh, we have over 10 employees. They're all Google certified. We actively manage over $10 million in ad spend each year and we work with clients um, of all sizes from two thousand dollars in monthly ad spend to over a hundred thousand dollars a monthly ad spend uh, and we're focused on one thing lead generation um, as I said before we don't do it all we don't you know if, if you're looking to sell something in a shopping cart like a product uh, we're not the best fit for you um, if you're looking for an affiliate uh, or, or some kind of affiliate traffic we're not the best fit for you if you're looking to connect with a local audience and you want the phone to ring that's exactly what we do that's what we specialize in um, we'll generate over 25,000 leads in a good month um, and as I mentioned we've been recognized by uh, Google what really matters to me and to the people that we hire here um, is that we treat our clients the right way we do the right thing and that starts with the real the structure of the relationship so I want to talk to you a little bit about that I think that's important especially when you're comparing agencies or evaluating agencies uh, first and foremost there's no long-term contracts we have a simple agreement we have a flat rate management structure based on um, you know what what you need from us um, so that's important which means we prove our worth month over month you can leave at any time um, not that you want to jump around from one agency to another, but it's important for us to reverse the risk and um, give you the peace of mind knowing that we need to fight every month for you um, and not become complacent because that's something that I think happens a lot in this industry. Um, you start out strong and then all of a sudden things kind of fade off and you know, and here you are looking at a new provider. So uh, we want to keep it fresh and we, we have a good structure in place to support that um, mentality. Next, there's no commissions, no click markups, no margin on your ad spend. You know, we, we're, we're cutting out the middleman here. Uh, there's a lot of companies that will <clears throat> inflate click costs. They don't give you access to the Google account that they're managing for you. You don't know what your true costs are with us. If you make an investment for a dollar, that's actually a dollar that goes toward the advertiser. We don't make any kind of uh, back-end commission or mark up your clicks. That's that's important to know because that alone can, if you break out of that type of um, relationship, that can really help you speed things along in terms of, in terms of your performance. Uh, we don't have any advertising minimums. Some companies require you to make an upfront investment at the first part of, of the month. The true spirit of pay-per-click is to pay as you go, pay as you consume the service, and you pay after the fact, after you consume the service. And that's exactly how we set you up with the advertisers. Uh, you pay the advertisers direct, so Google, in a Google advertising agreement, um, uh, Google's going to bill your credit card directly. Um, and everything that we do is open and transparent, 100% transparent. In reporting, everything in the Google account is going to match your dashboard that we have for you. Uh, your Google invoice is going to match your credit card statement, which is going to match the dashboard. Um, and everything is out in the open. So uh, we're not going to hide anything from you. We're not going to try to um, you know, make more than what we should make in a, in a business relationship. So we do the right thing. That, that goes a lot into you know, delivering excellence. Um, you know, you're going to have a dedicated SEM account specialist and you're going to be able to really customize the relationship where you can meet once a month, once a week, twice a month, what have you, depending on uh, what kind of time uh, you have available. Um, next, as, you de as you're assigned a, a dedicated SEM specialist, you're going to be working with somebody who 
I trust somebody uh, it, it might be myself I'm very active on accounts um, somebody that has experience 100,000 200,000 leads under their belt it's not somebody that we drafted out of college we give them a low salary and you know wish them good luck after some basic training this is this is a really serious a serious position we consider ourselves fiduciaries you're making an investment with Google it's our job to make sure that we can get the very best we can out of that investment so with that said we're very systematized when it comes to account management we're very aggressive with account management pay-per-click is not something that you can put into cruise control and you know just hope for the best it, it does require constant supervision constant tweaks uh, and adjustments uh, and, and strategy there's a lot going on in a given market um, things move fast things move often so it's important that you have uh, a system in place that 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 is followed to make sure that you're getting the best possible metric so we have a daily weekly monthly checklist that we follow on every account we customize that um, and that is going to include ongoing keyword optimization uh, we're going to make adjustments to your locations adjustments to the timing of your ads um, we're gonna have a device strategy we may put more money into mobile than we would desktop uh, and I'm going to talk a little bit more about this in depth up ahead um, budget you know budget changes every day um, if you're managing your budget now based on the month you're probably not getting the best possible result you can if you're in the type of business where Mondays are really heavy we want to spend more on a Monday than we would on a Tuesday for example um, the bidding the ad position all of these are moving parts things that you can control with Google we listen to your calls uh, if you're the type of business that uh, allows it um, ads we're really big on creating customized ads it goes into the handcrafted lead generation uh, side of things here I'm going to talk to you about that up ahead uh, we create what we call micro campaigns when you break things down to the smallest component in, inside of a Google account and you have a campaign that supports you know a number of a handful of keywords with a number of ads in one landing page you're gonna have a much better result so we look at what works and then we really emphasize our resources on what works to deliver the best amount of value that we can for you um, landing pages you're gonna learn about our platform we're gonna show you about you know how much time and investment we make in terms of optimizing your landing pages to increase conversions because for every percentage point that we can get for you in terms of conversion we're going to reduce your lead costs uh, metrics are monitored every single day um, against your historical performance against the industry that we're managing so for example if you're a plumber in Boston uh, we're going to compare your metrics to all the plumbers that we manage in a given day across the country uh, and we're also going to benchmark your uh, performance against your historical numbers to make sure that nothing falls out of alignment so you know if you have a bad day we're gonna be able to jump on that account and make performance adjustments that day so a small problem doesn't turn into a big problem the last thing you want to do is you know end up at the end of the month and say hey you know you spent all this money but I really didn't get a result there was something broken that could have been fixed um, and things break apart uh, you know quite often at the, with the speed of things a new competitor can come into the market somebody can outbid you things change so those are metrics that we monitor um, there are about 16 different KPIs we're focusing on the cost per lead the conversion metrics and your click-through rates uh, we have a number of technology systems that we routinely check and you're gonna find that the communication here is is very aggressive um, we're gonna sit down with you and plan out the account talk to you about competitive strategies performance and we'll have strategy calls um, in addition to introducing you to new opportunities uh, and campaigns so we've done everything we can to deliver to you the best possible solution the right experience the right relationship the right work ethic and communication and the investment into technology I'm not going to get into the weeds here and the actual systems that we put in place here but our systems are fast they're powerful uh, we have server clusters throughout the country um, we've made a lot of investment if you look at my expense sheet technology is the biggest expense that we have here um, outside of payroll uh, we know everything that there is to know about an account we know what your most profitable keywords are your best performing days and times your best performing locations the best performing device and we're able to take that information and really maneuver things in the account so that we are applying your budget 
to the right areas to get the right kind of um, result for you. So we have the right tools to get the job done and we're going to talk a little bit more about the different parts of technology when I introduce you to the handcrafted experience. So welcome to hand crafted lead generation that's our tagline we're delivering excellence and we're giving you a customized experience it's 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 something that we put a lot of time effort and energy into three things it's the campaign creation your ads and your landing pages it's kind of like a three-legged stool when you have all those three things running the right way you get a really good result with with smart and strategic management so here's a quote from me um I don't like to quote myself, but I say this every single day. Google is one of the only advertising vehicles where you can control your outcome. You know exactly what's happening. So you know, Google is going to provide you with all the information you need to make smart and strategic decisions that will impact your performance. If you're not getting a good result, then there's something off. And you're going to be able to easily identify what's broken in your account or you know, you'll be able to identify opportunities for improvement because Google gives you all the data. It's not like you know, ordering 5,000 postcards and you know, sending them into a, a zip code. You, you don't know what your response rate. You don't know if somebody threw it in the trash before they looked at it. With Google, you know exactly if they viewed your ad, if they clicked on the ad, if they landed on your landing page, what the conversion rate is. You have all that information and it's broken down to the smallest component. So you just need to know how to read the information to take action so and it really starts off with the good structure and how a campaign is put together so there are all these things you can control up front and throughout the course of the relationship in terms of management so you can control when your ads appear the right times so I'll give you an example if it's 8 a.m. on a Tuesday and you are a local service provider you might have an ad that will state something like call before noon today Tuesday for same day service so you can you can customize your ads based on the time of day to be relevant to the prospect so day parting is something that we do that's customizing the ad by time of day um, we track your conversions and your lead costs by time of day and by day of week History repeats itself, and it's 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 so true with pay-per-click. If you have a really good history, you can go back to a 90-day cycle and say, all right, well, you know, my lead costs are X, Y, and Z on Fridays, and my best performing day of the week is Monday. And when you have that intelligence, you can really shift your budget and focus on the areas to get the best possible result. There's all these different ways you can manage an account, and if you're looking to get uh, the highest amount of, of, of ROI, um, that's one way you can do it. Um, you can also identify and take advantage of competitive opportunities. So, you know, just just knowing what I know in my experience, you have competitors that you compete compete with right now that will drop out of the game at one o'clock today or two o'clock. Um, they'll run out of budget. That's a good time for you to come in and capture some leads and opportunities at, at a lower cost. And that will help you balance out your lead costs throughout you know, a 30-day cycle. Towards the, the later part of a month, you may notice that a competitor is nowhere to be found because they've bled through their budget for the month. So at, toward the later part of the month, you can come in and, and spend much more and get many more leads. So there's an ebb and flow to how your market reacts to the products and services that you're selling so we want to identify the right times uh, and get into the game at the right times and, and make adjustments um, next the right locations so if you can control where your ads appear based on historical information you're going to increase your probability to get a much better result so if you go into your CRM solution or you know your accounting package you might be able to pull out a report of um, your top top sales by zip code or location, your average ticket by zip code or location. And that's a good starting point to say, all right, well, you know, this is what I want to spend and, and these are the areas that I want to fund. Um, you may not want to invest in a specific city or town because you don't get a good result. So um, that's something that we look at when you come on board. Um, we also want to look at restricting locations. Perhaps you don't go into a major market and you, you, you're a, a 
you're advertising to to a suburb so we want to restrict the major market uh, or areas that don't make sense if you continue to get telemarketing calls um, outside the area we want to we want to restrict that area um, and location management offers you a lot of flexibility especially if you're the type of business that goes out into the field and you have a field staff um, if, if you go to somebody's home location management especially if you, you service a lot of zip codes gives you the flexibility of spending a certain amount in one area and being very aggressive and then in your outlining areas you may not spend as much you may not be as aggressive because there's this whole thing about generating a lead at a specific cost but you have to factor in the hard costs of actually running a, a call um, you know what what is what is your fuel cost going to be um, can you reduce your windshield time your payroll costs so all those things need to be considered when you put together uh, a location strategy and one of the things that we do as a company is we track the lead cost and conversion performance by zip code and we break down campaigns at a micro level so we'll create a campaign for every specific city and town that you do business in and we'll support that using our technology um, and we track your competitors at a micro level so when you have a really big broad campaign you know there's really two ways to set up a campaign you can you can set up a campaign in Google in about five minutes you draw a circle on the map and, and you and you go um, the, the, the the challenge you run into with that is you don't get the intelligence at the local level so we take the time we build out a campaign at every specific zip code and that gives us a lot of flexibility on how we manage the account and the information that we get from each uh, uh, piece of geography so the right locations next is the right device in the last five years um, mobile has grown significantly seven out of the tens that we seven out of the ten leads that we generate will come from a mobile device so we set up and launch mobile only campaigns um, our platform is designed to capture mobile opportunity. Um, we can easily shift budget from desktop and apply it to mobile. If, if that's where we're getting most of the activity, that's where we want to spend most of the budget. We track device performance by location, by time of day, by day of week. Um, we're able to see what the costs are, the lead costs are on a mobile device compared to desktop. We usually find that <clears throat> mobile opportunity uh, is much more transactional in nature you know if, if, if you solve a problem and, and, and you offer maybe a, a same-day service component or there's some urgency in your sales cycle that's a really good opportunity to really focus in on mobile as um, a lead generation source and, and I'm gonna up ahead I'm gonna talk to you about what we do in terms of our platform and delivering a mobile experience using responsive design click to call functionality and everything that goes into uh, the mobile technology so you can capture more mobile opportunity uh, with the right strategy in place so that's something you can control with Google next is the budget budget management is critical um, for success with Google if, if you have a flat budget right now that you're evenly spending every day you're not getting the best possible yield that you can the best possible return on ad spend we are very flexible with day-to-day -day changes here at ad machine so if you get busy we can turn things down slow things down we could speed things up and that's one of the reasons we have location management in place uh, is we can pull those levers and kind of um, enhance and speed things up and slow things down for you um, we're able to do things with budget in terms of reporting if you have multiple business units uh, we can report on those individually if you have a specific product or service category we can allocate budget to that specific area differently so there's all these things we could do with budget and, and, and customizing the budget so that it gets the best possible result usually when we start out we're gonna have um, a budget that you know is it, it makes sense and that's gonna change over time based on the information that we gather so the timing the location uh, information all that will come into play um, and then we change the budget daily for you um, to help you control your spend and get you the best possible return on ad spend next uh, with budget management comes bidding strategy um, we don't take a one-size-fits-all approach 
we don't use Google's automated bidding. That gives you that gives Google a blank checkbook when it comes to spending your your money. If you've ever noticed that your ad is always in first position, regardless of the time of day or day of week, there's a good chance you're in automated bidding or one of your competitors. So what happens there is you can really just force somebody out of the market by bidding above them and knocking them out until they bleed their budget. So that's one of the reasons we don't use automated bidding. Everything is manual. We treat keywords as if they were stocks in the stock market. Every keyword has a value. Um, and we take a diversified approach. Every keyword has its own unique sweet spot. Some keywords are going to be much more competitive than others. So we're always looking for low-hanging fruit in keywords that have little or no competition. When you take the extra time to build out a diversified keyword portfolio, then you're going to start to see a nice balanced lead generation cost. Uh, because the more keywords that that are getting action uh, the longer they are the more precise they are the better result you're going to have and you can really reduce your lead costs with smart and strategic bidding uh, and next uh, is the right position not all positions are going to be performing at the same level first position is not always the best performing position especially if you have a larger ticket so we position test for best performance. So we're going to take your top performing keywords and we're going to position test them to see where we get the best yield and returns. A first position on mobile might outperform a first position on desktop. So we'll drop desktop down to third or fourth position for an example. A short sale cycle, lower transaction, you're going to drop your ads down. Um, in a longer sale cycle, higher average ticket. You might put them up. So, you know, there are all these moving parts that go into having the right position and the right ad copy. So position is something that you can control. It's something that we change every single day for our clients to help them improve their response rates and get them a better um, overall return on ad spend. And with that, all of this has everything to do with having the right keyword portfolio and getting traffic to your sales funnel. So you can control traffic volume with Google. Keywords are what ultimately will drive your, your traffic. Keywords determine your lead quality. A, really, a lot of broad-based keywords are going to give you really low lead quality. The more specific, the better, the higher lead quality you're going to have. Um, you always want to have more negative keywords than the actual keywords that you're bidding on. I'll give you an example. <clears throat> we work with a lot of air conditioning contractors who service homes uh, throughout the country. And a common term that we're going to bid on is AC repair. I can't tell you how many people search for Toyota AC repair, Honda AC repair, GM AC repair. So it's important that as a manager, I have a complete list of all the makes and models of automobiles set up as negative keywords to deflect that kind of traffic so that's an example of something that we would put in place to deflect the bad traffic <laughs> almost every single keyword portfolio follows the 80 20 rule 20 percent of your keywords are going to generate 80 percent of the result with that said when you can identify the top 20 percent then you can really break things down to the smallest component where one campaign supports a handful of strategic keywords where you have your ads and a very specific landing page. You break things down to the smallest component to get you the better result. So that's something that we do ongoing. We are going to optimize the account and create new opportunities based on our methodology. Next is the right audience. A lot of people don't know that you can actually control who sees your ads on Google. Google has come a long way just recently in giving you many more audience uh, options. So I can target specific demographics. If I know the best people who click on my ads are over 40 years old and they're female, I can narrow down my focus and just target that specific demographic. At the same time, if I know that males ages 18 to 24 click on my ads a lot, but they don't convert, I can restrict that audience. 
if you're just starting out and, 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 and maybe you are you know have a few concerns with Google you don't have to go into the full market you can target just your customer list so if you're an established business and you have a nice healthy customer list you're gonna be able to just put your ads in front of your existing customers and that's something you can do now you can target prospects just like your customers with customer match that's Google's one of Google's latest uh, uh, features is, is customer match so you could take your spreadsheet of your customers put it into Google and Google is going to go out and find people just like them we can target in market audiences these are people that are shopping for your products and services right now so if somebody has expressed an interest in a specific product or service we could put a campaign together to just go after people who are ready to buy. That's a new feature within Google. And we track all the demographic engagement here uh, inside of your account. And we're able to really paint a picture to tell you what kind of uh, profile is searching on your ads. So you want to sell to the right people. This is something you can control with Google. And when you use this effectively, you can really start getting a good result. And next, you want to capture more opportunity with the right follow-up system. I can't tell you how effective remarketing is in terms of decreasing your lead costs over time. People are busy. They click on your ads, and they walk away. They get called into a meeting. They get distracted. They eat dinner, and they forget about you. And they go back to the drawing board to start their search again. So remarketing is a nice healthy way nice healthy component and a very inexpensive component to add to your search engine marketing strategy to get them back into your sales funnel so they take action so when they go to their favorite sports website or their favorite blog they're going to be able to see your ad wherever they go uh, you can remarket on the entire google display network you can remarket on youtube you can remarket on facebook and you can uh, profile executives on LinkedIn, anybody who uh, is in a white collar uh, type of uh, job um, and, and they're on LinkedIn, you can now remarket to them as well. In addition, Google offers RLSA ads. These are remarketing lists for search ads. And this puts a very specific ad in front of the people who have already clicked on your ads and you can control the cost. So if they're out there searching again, instead of spending you know, $25, $30 on a click, you might spend a dollar or two because they've already clicked on your ad and Google stores that information. So if you have remarketing set up, you're going to be able to use that as an insurance policy to protect your initial click investment and get them back into your sales funnel to take action. And next, we don't want to put all of our eggs in one basket. We want to start off with Google, get a really good baseline going, but we want to put a diversification strategy in place where a portion of your budget is being allocated to Bing, to the Google Display Network, to YouTube, to Facebook, and to LinkedIn. So you can identify and control your lead costs in each one of these uh, advertising vehicles. Okay, now that I've showed you everything that we do in terms of campaign creation and all the things that we can control as your agency, that's just the beginning of it. Next, we want to talk about handcrafted ads. The nice thing about Google Ads today are that the ads don't stick out like a sore thumb. They blend into the page. So there's only one small designation, a, a little bubble that says that this is actually an ad. Um, it, there's always been this common misconception that smart people with money don't click on ads. Well, I'll tell you, a lot of people with money and a lot of leads we generate click people clicking on ads so Google has done an excellent job of having the ads blend into the search results page and they've also given you more real estate as an advertiser to build a much bigger ad and there's a number of Google advertising features that um, you can put in place to really give yourself much more height uh, on your ad. So I want to talk to you about a couple different things that we do in terms of handcrafted ads. All right, next we want to make sure we have an ad for every specific grouping of keywords in each one of your campaigns. When you have an ad that's very specific to a keyword and it's in alignment with that keyword, it's going to help you at a technical level improving your quality score, 
but most importantly it's going to help you accelerate your revenue um, you know the more ads you put out there the, the better results you're going to start to see because you can test the ads uh, and you can see really fast if an ad is going to perform and, and if it's a winner or if it's a dud it doesn't take much search traffic to figure out that the ad doesn't work so um, there's a, there's a lot that we do before we actually put an ad in place on Google <clears throat> we sit down and we follow this method it's called the ad copy formula there are 10 factors that that we consider when putting an ad together um, and then when we're done with it this is something you can use in any media uh, you can use it in newspaper ads you can use it in radio TV print um, it follows the same advertising principles you would use in any form of media so we're going to follow these principles and we're going to create an ad that's going to attract buyers it's going to have a call to action it answers the question what do I do next for the buyer what 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 do I do next as a buyer the direct offer that's really simple what's your offer what are you offering to the buyer the benefits what's in it for me as a buyer you got to answer that question value What's something that you can do extra that nobody else is willing to do extra in a competitive marketplace? What is the value to me? <clears throat> the promise. What's your big, bold promise? You know, a lot of people use 100% satisfaction guaranteed. What does that mean? So the, the, the more descriptive you are in your promise, the better result you're going to see. The differentiation. What kind of specific training do you have? Credentials. Um, years of service. How are you different compared to your competitors? The speed. How fast can you solve somebody's challenge, goal, or um, you know, problem? You know, how fast can you respond? Urgency. Scarcity is part of urgency. So, if you only have two left in stock, or you only have three appointments left, that's creating urgency in your ad, and that goes into day parting. And there's a couple of different smart ways where we use urgency. Trust. This is a big one. How many reviews do you have? Are you affiliated with third-party um, local kind of um, uh, partners like the, the the Better Business Burial? Do you have you know five-star reviews on Google? And local, the local factor. Are you using the name of the specific city or town in your ad copy? Are you using a local phone number? Those are ten factors that we consider before we even put an ad out there we want to be, have a very specific ad that follows this formula um, and launch that for every single uh, campaign that we have uh, for our clients and the more ads the better we are constantly creating what we call micro campaigns with you know one keyword or just a, a handful of keywords with you know a core ad and a landing page and when we get this down we boil things down to the smallest component you're gonna to start to see an increase in your click-through rates we're, we're actively split testing ads I might create three or four ads for one uh, campaign they're all very similar but you're gonna find that you know certain tweaks to an ad might pull in a better result so we're, we're, we're refining the ad uh, and we're going through and optimizing the keywords optimizing the times optimizing the locations of the ads so uh, we we spend a lot of time on ad copy it's a big part of getting clicks to your sales funnel next we want to make sure that our ads are set up using Google ad extensions so this goes above and beyond your core ad and the 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 basic amount or the standard amount of space that Google gives you ad extensions really beef up your ad so if I have a value statement I might use structured snippets because that gives gives me an extra line of text in the ad. If I have a mobile ad, I'm definitely using call extensions, no question about that. Site links probably the most important or most popular ad extension uh, gives me a place to add value, gives me a place to to build a promise or a guarantee, uh, gives me a place to talk about uh, the conditions, the weather conditions today. I can really use site links in a strategic way. Callouts allows me to differentiate my clients. Location extensions, this is where we integrate your account with your Google My Business account. And that's where it shows your location, gives you driving directions, and it shows you the stars, how many reviews you have. So that makes 
and ads stick out. So if I'm using all of these features, I don't have to be in first position bleeding the budget with a really good, you know, piece of ad copy following my formula. I can be in the second or third position and still get a really good result because I've spent all of this time creating a handcrafted ad. So the more time and energy that goes into this, I don't have to be that aggressive in, in bumping up a position, bumping up a position because smart people are going to read the ads and they're going to do business with you based on the ad copy formula. So this is where smart and strategic ad copy building comes into place and we do that here at Ad Machines. So you can see we've put a lot of time and thought into creating ads for you that um, are going to really attract your best possible prospects. And once they take action and they actually click on the ad, we need a place for them to go uh, so they can take the next step in the sales process. And that's where uh, landing pages come in. And what we do is we use, we have a platform we call Machine Sites. It's our uh, technology solution, a landing page platform where we handcraft landing pages for your brand. And we support each individual campaign with its very own landing page. It's very important that you have dedicated landing pages for every unique offer that you have running right now. And the reason for that is because you're going to, uh, at a technical level, be compliant with, uh, with Google, delivering the best possible uh, experience for users and improving your quality score. But most importantly, an effective landing page is going to help you generate more revenue, more business, increase your conversion rates. So you're actually spending and reducing your lead costs and getting more out of your budget. And this is where the magic happens. This is the entry point into your sales funnel. Just like we have the ad copy formula, this is the checklist that we follow to build ads. Uh, we have a very similar checklist that we follow to ensure that we have uh, built the landing page so that it's in the C zone. That's we call it the conversion zone. Um, so first and foremost, we want to make sure that the landing page is customized for your brand. We're using all of the elements that that go with your brand, your logo, your colors, pictures of your employees, um, uh, pictures of uh, customer interactions or videos that you may have. The more information that we can put on a landing page that represents you and your brand, the better. Uh, we want to really differentiate ourselves when looking at other competitive landing pages because you don't want any brand confusion. The last thing that you want to run into is having a prospect who is confused on who they called or uh, the ad that they clicked on and where they landed. And if you have a competitor with a similar landing page, uh, you might lose that opportunity. So we want to stick out in the marketplace, we want to differentiate ourselves. Next, we want to be consistent with the buyer's search intent. So they start their search, they have a very specific keyword. We deliver an ad for that specific keyword, and we want that keyword in that ad copy to follow through on the landing page. We want consistency. The last thing you want is confusion. You don't want to do too much. You want to have that offer that's on the ad carry through to the landing page that's going to improve your conversion and give you the highest probability of a sale. Next, we want to make sure the connection is made above the fold. And what I mean by that is if we go back to the landing page, this is just an example. The ad copy formula, everything that we put into the ad is on this page above the fold. It's the presentation of the landing page before the prospect starts to scroll down the page. If they want to scroll down the page, there's a lot more information. We create a, a, a piece of sales copy. We have imagery. We have video. Uh, we have coupons. There's a lot of elements that uh, are taking place below the fold here, but we want to make sure that the, the 10 factors are the speed, the urgency, the benefits, etc., are all here above the fold. This is going to help you increase the speed of your conversion. So we want to make a connection. We want to make sure that the landing page is clean, it's crisp, the look, the feel, the layout, it's all uh, unified. And you know, we want we don't we don't we don't want to show the prospect that the circus is in town. We don't want animation, we don't want video 
uh, on a pay-per-click page, any kind of uh, live video, um, those elements are fine and you can introduce them once you know what your baseline conversion numbers are. But in the beginning, we don't want that to, to run. Um, we want the page to be complete, no white space. If you have dead white space, you're going to have um, uh, a result that, that's not what it could be. Uh, we want the information to be clear and concise, direct and to the point. Uh, if you're selling widgets, we don't want to sell something else. Uh, we want to talk directly to that specific offer, to that specific category. We don't want to go off track. Next, we want to make sure that the landing page is contained with no links anywhere else. We don't want it to go to a home page. We don't want to go to any other page on your website. Uh, a landing page is contained. We want to keep the buyer, give them all the information they need to make a decision to take the next step. Uh, and that will help you improve and increase your conversion rates. There's a lot of confusion. A lot of companies say, hey, you know, it's going to help your SEO if, if you run them to your main site. It really doesn't matter. Uh, those two divisions within Google are very different. Um, if, if you have concerns about that, we can talk about putting your landing pages on your site or we could put them on a subdomain. We could run them on a different URL. It does not impact your current web performance. Uh, if anything, it's a contained landing page is going to help you reduce your lead costs and improve your conversion. Uh, the landing page has to have a call to action. It has to answer the question, what should I do next in your sales process? Contact options. You want a phone number, a local phone number. Uh, you want form submissions, uh, any kind of forms. Uh, you know, you can, you can have click click forms, you can have forms that you fill out. Uh, we want those two as, as a minimum um, contact option here. Uh, you can introduce live chat once you know what your baseline conversion numbers are. And finally, we want to make sure that the code base, all the, all the technical components of the landing page um, are set up so that they're fast and they're delivering an experience um, where you know the, the, the prospect doesn't have to wait for the page to load. So we're going to cache that, that landing page at a technical level and making sure all the scripts are running efficiently. Um, so that's what goes into uh, you know checking off a checklist here to make sure that we have a landing page uh, set up for high conversion. Now since 7 out of 10 of the leads we generate come in by way of a mobile device, it's very important that our platform is delivering a really friendly experience to prospects who are searching on the go. So we can really help you enhance your mobile game. Um, our landing page platform is 100% responsive, which means that the pages that we develop for you work on every single device. They work on smartphones, they work on tablets. The experience is very unique for each device. It's consistent. Uh, the information is consistent across the board. Um, and, and, and just the experience alone is really going to help you improve conversion. Uh, on mobile, on smartphones, we're using click-to-call functionality. Uh, we make sure that the click-to-call feature is sticky, which means uh, it's locked into place. So as the user or prospect scrolls down the page on their phone, that click-to-call will always be there um, on uh, the page. And we make it very simple and easy for them to quickly move their thumb right to that button. Um, we found over time uh, that most people don't want to stretch their thumb when making a phone call. So we want to give them that information right at their fingertips. Uh, we use mobile forms. Um, it's important if you're collecting uh, information through a form that uh, the forms are styled and you know, you're collecting a limited number of fields on mobile and we have a nice user-friendly form um, solution we use to, to get that information. And then all of our pages, all of our mobile pages are compliant with Google AMP, that's Google's accelerated mobile uh, pages uh, code base that uh, we've installed uh, on each and every single um, mobile page. So we can really help you improve your mobile game and give users an experience that are going to help them uh, convert more often. Now Machine Sites is a software solution. It's important that the software has uh, an equal amount of hardware to support it. Uh, so, you know, we're using the latest uh, powerful technology that there is to support um, our, our software. So we invest in the fastest possible servers. Uh, we are, uh, we have redundancies in place. Uh, so if, for example, a server were to fail, 
uh, your ads will your, your landing pages will always be running because we have backups in place um, you should also know that once somebody lands on one of our landing pages we are recording that session with our instant replay uh, software and we're able to see everything that they do we're also able to track the origin of the search to their IP address, the keyword that triggered the ad, the ad that they clicked on, the device that they used. There's a lot of intelligence that comes in through our landing page software where we gather and collect information that will help us with the decision making. We're able to tell if a keyword resulted in a lead, if a keyword did not result in a lead, and this is the information we collect to, to help uh, on the strategy of the account, the performance uh, of the account. Um, and there's other technology that we use. For example, if, if, if you're running a city campaign with us, you want to inject the name of the city or town into the landing page, we can do that pretty easily. Uh, also, if you have a call center that's, that's triggered from an 800 number, we can give the prospect the appearance of a local phone line uh, based on their IP address, it will serve them up um, the prefix for their local area. So we have the right tools to get the job done uh, when it comes to, to our landing pages. So we talked about the handcrafted campaign setup, the handcrafted ads, the handcrafted landing pages. Now we're going to end things here and just going to talk briefly about the handcrafted reporting because some of the clients we work with, they want to see information different ways. We can customize reports for each one of our clients um, at a high level. We're able to give you as much information as you'd like that, that comes directly from Google. Uh, we're able to give you a dashboard that will sh you know, show you where you're, where you're at in terms of your budget, your cost per lead, your conversion rate, how many impressions you're receiving. Uh, there's about 16 different KPIs that you're able to see in a dashboard. Uh, we also give you a complete breakdown um, for each product and service campaign that we're running for you or, or location-based campaign that we're running for you. You can also see uh, which device is pulling in a better result. And all the, all the reporting is, it can, can come from everything that we track. So the individual keyword performance, the device performance, uh, your demographic information, uh, your best performing days and times. These, these are all things that we track and can report to you. Uh, and these are all the things that we take action on when actively managing your uh, account. So you have a dashboard that gives you access to everything. We're 100% transparent with you. We're an open book, and the more information you would like, uh, the better. And the more engaged you are with us, um, you know, the, 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 and, and the more communication we have between organizations, the better results um, you're going to get. So let's just recap here and just talk about what we talked about today. We talked about our commitment to excellence, how we're experienced and recognized by Google. Um, that we're doing the right thing by putting our relationships first with our clients. Um, when you come on board, there's a whole team that will work on your account. You'll have a dedicated specialist um, who will uh, run the communication side of things with you. Uh, we're making ongoing investments in the right tools to um, get the pos best possible results for our clients. Um, and everything that goes into our handcrafted experience, you, you, you saw the level of detail that goes into campaign creation, ads, landing pages, uh, and reporting. Uh, and all of this is done in an effort to help you control your outcome. Uh, we can help you control when and where your ads appear. Um, we showed you how you can capture more mobile opportunity. You know, how you can control your return on ad spend by better managing your budget. And how we can help you reduce uh, your lead costs with, with all of our optimization tools. And all of this is part of the handcrafted lead generation uh, experience. Our goal is to really help you improve your response rates, enhance your lead quality, drive in the right traffic, reduce your lead costs, um, you know, capture more opportunity with remarketing tools, control your lead costs by diversifying your strategy, you know, putting investment into Bing and Facebook. Um, we talked about our approach to ads and how we handcraft them following our ad copy formula. Uh, we love it when clients get involved there. Um, we talked about how we can help you with your by uh, with split testing and how we can help you improve your click through rates. Um, we talked about how we use Google ad features to enhance ad copy to 
to pull in a better result. Uh, we talked uh, about landing pages and how we handcraft them following our C zone checklist to help you turn more clicks into customers. Um, and we talked about how you can enhance your mobile game with our platform um, and all the, the things that we do in, in customizing the reporting. So that's ad machines. I'm very uh, uh, proud of where we've come as a company and, and uh, our value proposition to you. Uh, as a potential uh, client, uh, we look forward to learning about how we could potentially partner and, and help you uh, improve your current pay-per-click uh, performance. I'm sure you have some questions. If you'd like to take the next step here, feel free to reach out. You can go to admachines.com and request a meeting. Um, we're happy to sit down with you and, and talk about uh, your goals or, or challenges that you're running into now. Uh, you can give us a call on the 800 number. and um, uh, we're, we're open uh, Monday through Friday. So uh, looking forward to connecting. And um, thank you for the opportunity and, and sitting through this uh, presentation. Thank you for your time.